Apple cider vinegar is one of the hottest topics right now. It's everywhere you turn, and I figured I would give you my two top apple cider vinegar recipes. These are simple little cocktails that just have everyday ingredients that you probably have in your pantry. But I'm gonna break down some of the science and how the apple cider vinegar is helping you, but also how some of these other ingredients can complement the effects of the apple cider vinegar when it comes to your blood glucose, when it comes to your immune system, and when it comes to your overall mood. So this first one is kind of a famous one. This one is sort of my super cocktail, and you've probably seen renditions of it before, except I'm using limes instead of lemons, and I'm gonna explain why in just a second. So first things first, all I've got is two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And in case you're wondering, I'm gonna eyeball this, by the way, in case you're wondering why apple cider vinegar, okay, why I'm always talking about it. Okay, it contains something called acetic acid, and that acetic acid is really the root of why it's so beneficial. What that acetic acid does is it affects your blood glucose quite dramatically, and there's one study that in particular I thought was pretty interesting. Okay, it took three groups of individuals. Okay, it took one group that had prediabetes, one group that had diabetes, and one group of seemingly healthy, normal people. And what they did is they gave them one ounce of apple cider vinegar, and then had them consume a bagel, that bagel had some butter on it, and a glass of orange juice. What they were looking at is what happened to their blood glucose after consuming that high carbohydrate meal. Well, across the board, they all saw a decrease in their overall blood glucose. In fact, the pre-diabetic group saw a 50% reduction in blood glucose, and the diabetic group saw a 25% reduction in blood glucose, simply by having a little bit of apple cider vinegar. So by kickstarting your day with apple cider vinegar, you're setting the pace and making sure that your body's metabolizing carbohydrates quite a bit better. Then additionally, the acetic acid has some huge effects when it comes to your immune system. So to make that point, myobacterium, one of the most lethal, most fatal bacteria that's out there. Think tuberculosis, that kind of fatal. Well, apple cider vinegar is one of the only compounds that has been shown to actually kill off this antibiotic resistant form of bacteria. That just gives you an idea of the overall power of apple cider vinegar. Think about what it's doing inside your body. All right, then we have cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper, again, I'm gonna put a dash. You can just put about a quarter teaspoon in there. But I like the stuff because it kicks it up a notch. Essentially, what you're getting out of that is you're getting something called capsaicin, which helps out your metabolism, gets things going. But it also has something called substance P. What substance P is, is something that nullifies some of the signaling from your nerves. So it can actually reduce nerve pain and it can actually reduce joint pain. So if you're someone that's stiff when you first get up in the morning, that's gonna make a big difference. Okay, next thing that I wanna add is I just wanna add about a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon of ground ginger. Okay, doing this for digestive support and for circulation. So it's gonna help your gut out in the morning, help you digest a little bit better, which we could all use first thing in the morning. Then cinnamon, we're getting more digestive benefit, but we're also getting more blood glucose benefit, just like we're getting from the apple cider vinegar. And I'm just gonna put, again, about a quarter teaspoon in there. You don't need much. Okay, one other benefit to cinnamon is the fact that you actually get lipid metabolism improvement too. So if you're someone that has an issue with digesting fats, okay, maybe you have a gallbladder issue, or maybe you just get kind of bloated whenever you have a high amount of fats, this would be a great meal to have simply by adding the cinnamon to the mix to eat with like a higher fat breakfast that maybe has some eggs in it. All right, then we're gonna add the star of the show, which is gonna be a lime. Most people wanna use a lemon and that's all good, but limes actually have higher components of limonene in it. So the main benefit that we get out of limonene is what it does to our liver enzymes. So it temporarily elevates our liver enzymes, which means that our liver is working at a higher capacity. It means that our ability to detox is improved temporarily. So when we're getting all these ingredients combined, we're getting a pretty massive influx of immune support, blood sugar control, and of course a detoxification aspect. Then last but not least, I'm simply going to add about 10 to 12 fluid ounces of water. You can add a little bit of honey or a little bit of stevia to this, but this is really all you need to start your day and it actually doesn't taste half bad. It's a little bit powerful, but it wakes you up, kicks your butt, and gets you going for the start of the day. All right, now I'm gonna move over right into the second drink. This is one that I discovered not that long ago, okay? This one is actually one that you wanna have a little bit later in the day. I don't recommend starting your day with this one. So right here, I've got some muddled up strawberries. They look a little bit nasty because they've been muddled up, okay? They defrosted a little bit, and then I smashed them up a little bit with a fork. All you're gonna do, you're gonna place that into the bottom of a cup. Now, I know it looks gross, but trust me on it, you're fine. The reason I'm using strawberries, they're super low glycemic. If you're gonna use a berry, use strawberries or use raspberries, simply because you're going to get the fiber from them, so it's gonna keep you full, but you're not having this major spike in your GI index, so you're not gonna have a big blood glucose spike. Okay, then I'm gonna take another lime. I'm a big fan of limes in case you haven't figured that out. Simply put, put it in the little squeezer. I'm gonna actually do a full lime in this one. Try to get a little bit more. This is more of a detoxing drink versus a morning kickstart. So I got the juice of one full lime,
And then of course, it wouldn't be an apple cider vinegar drink without a little bit of apple cider vinegar. So again, I'm going about two tablespoons of that. I'm gonna add eight to 10 fluid ounces of water to this one. You see, it kind of ends up coming out like a mojito. Now, a lot of times people wanna add a little bit of honey to it, but in this case, I would normally just add a little bit of stevia or maybe something to just give it a slight, slight bit of sweetness. Maybe a little bit of agave, maybe a little bit of dolcetti or something like that. You can even muddle up a little bit of mint in there as well to get some of the extra flavonoids. And this is one, wow, that's good. This is one that I would recommend drinking right after dinner, simply because it's gonna help you with the digestive benefit, but it's also gonna be a little bit sweet and give you that nice little semi-pseudo dessert kind of mock-up so you don't feel like diving into the cheesecake. So there you have it, two very simple apple cider vinegar recipes that you can use, one in the morning and one at night. One to kickstart your day and help your immune system, and the other to keep you satiated and give you the benefits and help drop down the blood glucose after that overbearing dinner that you just had. I will see you in the next video. Make sure you comment and let me know what videos you want to see in the future.